This is Jeff Williford with UTTylerPatriots.com here with the inside swoop with the one, the only, Jamin Copeland, new head coach here at UT. Tyler, uh, coach, first of all, how many times since you've started here in Tyler have people mispronounced your name? Uh, daily. Daily? I mean, uh, what, what are some of the things they call you? Jamon, Jamon, Jameson. <laughs> Well, we have a Jameson who works on staff in the uh, rec center. Uh, I'm sure that that doesn't help any at all. But uh, you've been here about a month. Uh, what's it been like? What's what's East Texas like? What have you been doing? Yeah, we we love it here so far. You know, it's been head head still spinning trying to figure everything out. Coming from a private school, there wasn't near as much paperwork. That's probably been the biggest adjustment is all the paperwork, and just trying to uh, we got the job late trying to get players and been on the road a ton. So yeah, it's been good. Uh, what's your outlook for next year? I know you uh, uh, hadn't got to spend a lot of time with the guys in, in any kind of uh, uh, playing or, or practice like that, but I know you've met some of them. Uh, what's your outlook so far? I know you've been doing a lot of recruiting. You're not here a lot because you're, you're out on the road. Talk about uh, how recruiting's going and uh, what can the fans look forward to next year? Absolutely. You know, I think uh, Coach Bizot uh, gave me a great group that I inherited, uh, so I'm excited about those guys. I haven't seen them play yet, but um, got to know them personally. They all seem like great kids, and, um, and I think they're going to be really good players for us. Recruiting-wise, going really good. We've got five commitments so far in the couple weeks we've been here. And, um, yeah, we're excited about next year. I think uh, championship or bust. Uh, I was in on the uh, kind of the uh, interview process for you, and one of the questions that was asked of you was uh, what kind of style do you play? What, what can the fans, when they, when they leave the game, what kind of game are they going to see of a Jamin Copeland coach team? I think more than anything, what we preach to our guys is, is we tell them when the, when the fans leave the gym, we want them to always say, no matter what the outcome, that's the hardest playing team on the court. And we're going to be the aggressor at both ends. Now, we will tweak things offensively and defensively depending on our personnel. And I don't know exactly. I know how I want to play and how I like to play, but I don't know exactly how we're going to play because I haven't seen our guys uh, play yet just because of the Division three rules. But yeah. I'll have a lot better, better idea next October. Sounds good. Um, now, the, the purpose of the Inside Swoop is not just to talk about uh, what people can see every day on, on our website or in the bio. We want to get to know Jamie Copeland, the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, you're married. You have two sons. You have another child on the way. Do we know if it's a boy or a girl? Another boy. Another boy. Yeah. So you're, you're, you're almost there to a full basketball team. Sure. you got a three-on-three -three team here pretty soon. Uh, what are the, Tell us about your family. Uh, what do you guys like to do? Uh, are they here yet in Tyler? They're not here yet. They're still in Florida. Uh, hopefully by the end of the month they'll be here in Tyler. Um, I've got a beautiful wife named Jessica and then uh, three little boys. Corbin's my oldest. He's three and a half. Uh, Blaze is two, and then Asher will be born in September. Man, that's pretty cool. I like the names. Did, did y'all have these names picked out, or did you go to, to like Barnes and Noble, find something <laughs> in the book, and and just pick one randomly? Well, wanted to go unique for sure. Well, it's like your name. We we spent like 20 hours looking up online what Jamin meant and Jamon, ja Hamon, whatever whatever else want, people want to call you. Um, it, it says on your bio that people can see as well that you're a uh, CrossFit level one instructor. To me, I just get worn out reading that. Um, what does that entail? Do you have? Is that something you have to keep doing to uh, keep that certification? Or <clears throat> it is. Yes, it's a certification, just like anything else. And, and you have, it's a certification for five years, and you've got to redo it every every five years. Um, you can't tell from the shot because we can only see you about chest up, but uh, even his teeth have muscles. I bet you can see his muscles in the – that was embarrassing. I probably shouldn't have said that. Um, what, else, what else do we need to know about you? What's one thing uh, about you that, that no one knows here in Tyler yet but uh, that you'd, you'd want to share with us here on the Inside Swoop? That's a great question. Put me on the spot. Um, do you sing? Do you have any hidden talents? I definitely don't have any hidden Tap talents. Tap dancing. <laughs> Man, that's a, that's a great question. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll, I'll take you off the hook, but the next time we talk to you, maybe preseason, uh, when the preseason poll comes hey, out. Give me a little heads up next time. We'll give you sure, a heads right? up, and you, you're <laughs> going to share with us uh, something special that you do. Uh, last thing, uh, your assistant coach. We, we hadn't talked about Mark much. Um, he's right on the website. Let's yeah, get, Let's get him on the interview. We haven't talked about Mark much. Uh, <laughs> tell us about Mark. He played for you. Uh, what does he bring to the program as well? He did, yeah. Mark uh, played for me. He was a... Uh, Actually, my first recruit when I got the job at Ave Maria, he's our starting point guard for two years, led the country, assist the turnover ratio, was the best defender I've ever coached, Division One, junior college, uh, NAI level. Um, tough kid, competitor. I think he's going to bring a fam 
familiarity with me, with uh, what I expect from our guys, with our program, our system. And he's a great people person. I think he's going to be a heck of a recruiter for us as well. Well, it sounds good. I know uh, he's a good guy. We've, we've hung out. We've had some lunch. Um, Coach, it's, it's good to have you here. I know the fans are excited. We got uh, Patriot Madness coming up soon in October. That fans that uh, we had the first time last year, I know they're excited to, to meet you and see what uh, your team will have. Thanks a lot for your time. I appreciate it.